Okay, we have 10 solutions of known concentrations ready to go, and we'll measure their absorbances. But first, we should calibrate the spectrophotometer with a colorless solution. Always good to wipe the cuvette off. And we'll finish the calibration when the colorless solution is in. Hit OK. And let's turn the spectrophotometer on and notice as we lift out the water and put it back in, the absorbance reads virtually zero. Let's make some quick observations with uh, a few solutions and notice that the blue solution absorbs in the red region and it's got quite a high absorbance. It is difficult to read off of this particular graph and we'll put in a2 and notice that the absorbance is lower, it's more dilute, and then A5 and you'll see that it's particularly low. So we know it's best to measure absorbance for various concentrations at one particular wavelength. So we'll use the stock solution to select the top of the peak and we'll change the mode to absorbance versus concentration so that we can get a digital readout. So I'll pull the meter up so we can see that we will be measuring absorbances at 808 nanometers. So we should read that solution A1 has an absorbance of 1.35-ish, and then we'll move on to A2 with an absorbance of 0.930, perhaps, and on to A3 with an absorbance of 0.663. And continuing through the solutions, a4, 0.387, and lastly with the A solutions we'll measure A5 with an absorbance of 0.139. So I'll turn the rack around and we'll move on to the B solutions, starting with the stock B1 with an absorbance of 0.978, and on to B2. Yep, get that cuvette in right, 0.693, B3, 0.501, B4, 0.289, and lastly, B5, 0.110. And we do need to measure the absorbance of the brass solution so I'll pour some from the 250 mil volumetric flask into a beaker to make it easier to dump into a cuvette, which had been previously used. So notice that I'm going to rinse the cuvette out with the actual brass solution and pour in fresh solution, and then go ahead and put that into the spectrophotometer and measure the absorbance. Get the cuvette right, and it appears to be 0.727.